Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make a flange coupling. First, we will make its components, and then we are going to assemble them. So, let's get started. Go to the File menu. Click New, select Part, and click OK. Now go to the sketch and click on Sketch. Select the front plane. Now take the circle command and draw a circle in the origin. Click OK. Now click on Smart Dimension. Select the circle and give the diameter as 220 millimeters. Click OK. Now go to the features and click on Extruded Boss command. Give the extrusion value as 22 millimeters and click OK. Click on Front Surface and then click on Sketch. Make it normal. Now take the circle command and draw a circle in the origin. Click OK. Go to the Smart Dimension and give the circle diameter as 120 millimeters. Click on OK. Now go to the features and click on Extruded Boss Command. Give the extrusion value as 120 millimeters. Click OK. Now click on this surface and click on Sketch. Make it normal. Again, take the circle command. Draw a circle here. Click OK. Now click on Smart Dimension. Click on Circle and give the circle diameter as 100 millimeters. Click OK. Click OK. Now go to the Features and click on Extruded Cut command. Make the direction through all and click OK. Now select this surface and click on Sketch. Make it normal. Click on Circle command and draw a circle here. Click OK. Go to the Smart Dimension. Click on Circle and give 12 mm diameter. Click OK. Now first select the center point of the small circle. Then hold the Control or Shift button and select the origin. Click on Vertical and click OK. Take the Smart Dimension command and give the distance between both center points as 85 mm. Click OK. Now go to the Pattern command and select Circular Sketch Pattern. Select this circle. Give the pattern quantity as 6 with 360 degrees. Click OK. Now go to the Features and click on Extruded Cut command. Choose the direction as Through All. Click OK. Now take the Fillet command and select it here. Give the fillet value as 1 mm. Click OK. Now select the part. Go to the Appearance. Click on Metal. Select Steel and click on Polished Steel. Go to the Visual Background scene and select Plain White. Now go to the File menu and click on Save. Give the part name. And click on Save. Go to the File menu, click on New. Click on Part, and then click OK. Go to the sketch and select the top plane. Now take the Polygon command and draw here in the origin. Click OK, select this line. Click on Vertical, and click OK. Take the Smart Dimension command. Select this line and this opposite line. Give the dimension as 28 millimeters. Click OK. Click OK. Now go the features and select Extruded Boss command. Give the thickness as 12 millimeters. Click OK. Click the top surface. Click on Sketch and make it normal. Now take the circle command and draw a circle here in the center. Click OK. Now select the circle and select this line with holding Control or Shift button. Click on Tangent, then click OK. 
Now select this circle. Go to the feature and click on Extruded Cut. Now select Flip Side to Cut and give the draft angle as 60 degrees. Click OK. Now select the bottom side. Click on Sketch. Make it normal. Now take the circle command and draw a circle here. Click OK Click Smart Dimension command. And give the diameter as 20 millimeters. Click OK. Click OK. Now go to the features and click on Extruded Boss command. Click Isometric. Now give the dimension as 75 millimeters. Click OK. Now go to the sketch. Click on Sketch. Now click here and select the front plane. Make it normal. Click on Line Command and draw a line from here to this line. Now go to the Smart Dimension and give the distance between these lines as 40 millimeters. Click OK. Select Isometric and click Finish Sketch. Now go to the Features. From Curves, select Split Line. Now select this face. And click OK. Now go to the Appearance. Click on Metal. Click on Brass and select the Brushed Brass. Again, go to the Appearance. Click on Miscellaneous. Select the lower surface of the bolt. Now click on Pattern. And then click on Screw Threads. Go to the Save command. Click on Desktop. And now create a folder. Rename it. Click Open. Give the part name and click again to save the file. Open a new file. Click on Part and click OK. Now go to the sketch. Click on Sketch and select the top plane. Now take the Polygon command and draw a polygon here in the center. Click OK. Click on this side and then click on Vertical. Click OK. Now go to the Smart Dimension and give the dimension from this side to the opposite side as 28 millimeters. Click OK. Now go to the Features and click on Extruded Boss. Keep the direction of extrusion as mid-plane and give extrusion value as 12 millimeters. Click OK. Now click on Top Surface and click on Sketch. Make it normal. Now take the Circle command and draw a circle here in the center. Click OK. Now go to the Smart Dimension and give the circle radius as 20 millimeters. Click OK. Now go to the Features and click on Extruded Cut. Give the direction as Through All and click OK. Again, click on the top surface and click on Sketch. Take the Circle command, make it normal, and draw a circle in the center. Click OK. Now select this circle and select this line holding Control or Shift button. Then click on Tangent and click OK. Now select the circle, go to the Features and click on Extruded Cut. Now click on Flip Side to Cut. Select the direction as Blind. And give the draft angle as 60 degrees 
Click OK. Now select the cut extruded to. Take the mirror command. Click here and select the top plane. Click OK. Here we see the same cutting has been made. Now click Isometric to make it normal. Now go to the Appearance. In the metal, click on Brass. And then click on Brushed Brass. Select the inner side. Again, go to the Appearance. In Miscellaneous, click on Pattern. And then click on Screw Thread to create cosmetic threads. To save this file, go to the File menu. Click on Save. Give the part name. And again, click on Save. Go to the File menu. Click on New. Click on Assembly, then click OK. Select the Part 1 and click Open. Change the visual background scene to plain white. Now click on Insert Components and select the Part 1 again to open. Take the Mate command and select the hole. Select the same hole of the second part. Now click on Reverse. Click OK. Now select the first part from here and the second part from here. Click OK. Again, select this coupling from here and the second one from here. Click OK. Again, click OK to accept. Click on Insert Components. Select second one and click Open. Place it somewhere. Now click on Mate. Select the bolt and then select the hole. Click OK. Now click this side of coupling. Rotate it a little and select the bolt face here. Click OK. Press Ctrl plus 7 to make it normal. Click OK. Once more time, click on Insert Components. Select the third one and click Open. Place it here. Now click on Mate. First select the nut hole and then select the bolt. Click OK. Now select the nut face and then select the coupling face. Click OK. Click OK to accept. Now select the bolt part, then go and click on Circular Component Pattern command. Select this surface. Give the pattern's quantity as 6, with degree 360. Click OK. Now click the nut part. Click on here and click the circular component pattern. Select this surface. Give the pattern's quantity as 6, with degree 360. Click OK. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button to support and press the bell icon to get a notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.